Our in-depth segment this week is with Youngstown City School Superintendent Justin Jennings. Tonight, we're talking about trauma students in the district undergo in their lives and why it's important to address it. Here's WKBN's Dee Crawford. Hello, and thank you for joining me. Um, my guest today is Justin Jennings. I always like to tell him we're related, but we'll pass on that. <laughs> So good to see you again, and in the midst of everything that's taking place, um, you are now superintendent as of July 1 or June yes, 1st? July 1. Okay. What does that mean, other than transferring of uh, board responsibility? Your responsibilities have not changed. No, not, not at all. I mean, the, the only difference is now I, I don't make uh, policy and legislation in the district. The board does that. So before with the CEO, I, I, did, I had all the control to do all those different things with budget and everything now. So actually, we are, hot, we are interviewing for a new treasurer because not, I'm not over the treasurer anymore. So it's a little different. Expectations of uh, impact upon delivery of service, say September 1, would it show any difference as far as distribution of funds, staffing, number of buildings, uh, or responsibility for the Youngstown City School System? No, no we, we, we really, for the last now going on four years, August 1st, just plan to look at all those different things that, and we've been doing that work. We've been making the cuts where we need to make them, but also investing in areas that we need to invest. So that won't, that won't change at all. Let's get into some of the topics that we've kind of discussed a little prior hand. Trauma. We're hearing the central theme of trauma and the impact that that is having on our youth and our children. And you, as the superintendent of the city schools, what are you seeing, what are your teachers and professionals saying to you as the superintendent as far as, number one, um, impact on uh, the ability of our students to learn? And secondly, communication mm -hmm. and the uh, opportunities for our students to know that there's someone that they can go to and talk to about this. Right. Well, there, there's twofold answer to that. First of all, it is actually our scholar trauma, but the second piece, is, which is a secondary piece that we often miss, are the adults. We, we have a lot of adults who, who've, who've brought trauma to our, our students and you just d couple that with everything else that's going on right now in our community, the violence and different things like that, it, it has a huge impact. And we, and we know in our school district, about 40% of all of our kids, they have someone who has been incarcerated or uh, has been incarcerated or currently incarcerated in the last six months in their household. So that's something, th the violence and, and also the trauma impact learning every day. And we're not just talking about single parent households because again, what our youth are seeing is not only the violent trauma, but the impact of seeing the mother struggling to put food on the table. Mm -hmm. um, nutrition, of course, again, being evicted. Mm -hmm. Moving from home to home, not even homeless, but by definition, not stable housing. Right. Our children bring that to the classroom each day, which now includes the fact that you feed a meal. How many times a day? Uh, three. Three times yep. a day. Yep. And sometimes they carry a meal home. Correct. Or on weekends. Right. So you're not only an educator, you're a nutritionist and food provider. Uh, definitely the education field since even before COVID but even after COVID it, it's evolved we 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 are social workers we're psychologists I mean so in some cases we're parents also a huge percentage of all of our students they don't live with a parent not even single or or both they live with a grandparent or foster so our homeless population has almost tripled since COVID so it's definitely something when, when we think of trauma it definitely has a huge impact and I mean you add on school shootings and different things like that thank you for that answer because that is a question I've been wanting to ask and I thank you for joining me as Community Affairs Director Dee Crawford. Our next conversation will further delve into the issue of trauma. Thank you for joining me.